Hello everybody! In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a mousetrap car. So for those of you who don't know, a mousetrap car is a, just a small car propelled by a single mousetrap. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make one. So the first step is to take three popsicle sticks. Take a glue gun that's already heated and put a bit of glue on one end of it. Take another popsicle stick and attach them together like that. Repeat the same step on the other end. So then you should have three popsicle sticks joined together that look like that. The next step is basically to just do the exact same thing all over again. So take your popsicle sticks, put glue on one end, jack together, put some more glue on, and then attach them together like that. Okay? So, for the next step, you're going to want three more popsicle sticks. And what you're going to want to do is take your glue gun and put glue on either end of it and stick one end of it on the end of one of the ones you joined earlier and the other end onto the other one. Now, take your second popsicle stick, put more glue on it, and place it right there. And then your third one, glue on either end, and put it right there. Okay. The next step is going to be installing the mouse trap. So you're going to want to take a mouse trap and make sure that when it's so that if you so that it's not set you do not want it set right now for this stage and what you want to do is make sure that the rod is on that end and place it right there so now you know it fits you can take some glue put some glue on either end and then put your mouse trap down And if you're like me and you got lots of the glue in your hands, you can always take your glue gun and just put some more on the corners. Okay. So, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the things that the axles will sit in. So I want to take two large straws that are not very wide. You want to take them, you want to flip this over, and put some glue on the end of your assembly, and stick one of them right there, and then do the same thing on the other side. And make sure that they're facing each other, because you want to be able to put an axle through them. Now I'll take two, they can be longer, depends and put them on the front. And again, make sure they're facing each other. Okay. So, for the next step, what we're going to want to do is take a wooden dowel and your mouse trap, and you want to put some glue on the side of the on the metal part of the mouse trap that flips back on the inside. I'm gonna put some glue on that. And some glue on the very end of your wooden dowel. And then you're gonna wanna put your wooden dowel on there like that. Then what I always do is I tilt it back so then I make sure that it's not gluing the rod down to the mouse trap. And then you can always add more glue later if it breaks. Or just add more right now to make sure that's strong enough. Okay, I'm just going to take a couple more popsicle sticks and block that up so we can continue working on our car. Okay. 
For the next step, we're going to be working on the wheels. And so you can use jar lids. I'm just using lids off of Nutella jars. And you want to take two more wooden dowels. And you want to take, you want to flip it so it's like that. Take your wooden dowel, put some glue on the end of it, and stick it directly in the center. And then take a second wooden dowel and a second lid and do the same thing. By now your thing should be reasonably, this should be reasonably dry, so you can let go of that and put it on there. And now I'm going to add a little bit more glue. Okay. So, for this next step, you're going to want to take one of your lids with an axle sticking out of it. If you need, you can always put more glue on it. So I definitely need to do that. And then what you're going to do, is going to take your car body and slip it through the straws that we glued on. And now do the same thing on the other side. If you need to, add some glue. Take your car body and slip the wooden dowel through the straws. Now we've got to let that dry for a bit. So I'm just going to lean this up against. I'm going to lean this up against my desk right here. Jeez. Sometimes it takes a lot of stress and trial and error before you can get it so that it's staying. And you can always use things to block it up, like a camera or something if you need. Jeez. Or pottery you made when you were three. There. there. So next we're going to want to measure out some string. So just take some yarn or string. And put some glue on the end of the wooden dowel we glued onto the mouse trap and wrap the string around that. Just one or two wraps. And just wrap it around like that. And then you can put some more glue on top of it. And so then what you're going to want to do is take your car body and stretch the string out to the back axle. So it's touching the back axle. And just a little ways behind that, mark it with your thumb, take some scissors. And cut it. And then you won't need the rest of that. You just need the stuff you just glued on. Okay. Okay. So my wheels are not straight. And my front one has glued itself onto the straw. There. There we go. So next you're going to want to take two more lids. Put some glue in the middle. I'm gonna let it cool for a couple of, for a little bit so that it's not 
not going to continuously break like the other ones did. So while you're waiting, you can just make sure that you cut it the right length. Yep, that seems about good. And then take it, lay both of them out, flip your mousetrap car. My mousetrap keeps falling apart. And press it in. And then, as always, if you need, you can add more glue. So once that's dry, which it's not, but once it is, I believe your mousetrap car is complete. And so once it's dry, what you will do is you'll flip it upright, you'll take your string, and you'll wrap it around the back axle, and you'll pull the mousetrap back a bit as you wrap it. And so then you can set the mousetrap, and then when you set the mousetrap off, this rod will fling forward and it'll pull the string, which will spin the back axle. And sometimes blowing on the glue helps it cool quicker. I have made a mouse trap card before, and I don't really remember it being this chaotic to make, but, yeah. I think my glue gun got too hard. Taking so long for the glue to dry. I had Lego road pieces sitting there and they all decided to slip. There's actually one more thing that you need to do. Or you don't have to do it, but I always, I like to do it because I've built one mouse trap car before. So you just take your car and you just put a little bit of glue on the axle, about halfway between the wheel and the car body. And why I do that is so then the axles don't slide back and forth as much and because if they do the wheels will hit the car body and you'll lose momentum but yeah when you when your car's dry mine's not really but you'll just yeah you'll take your string you'll wrap it around there and then you'll pull your mouse trap back and as you pull it back, you'll wrap it like that. And this frame's looking a little flimsy, so let's take another popsicle stick. Put some glue there and there. And put it on. Because otherwise your, flame, your frame is a little bit too flimsy. Quite often you'll have to fix them quite a bit or add more glue. But yeah. So that is a mouse trap car. But yeah, you'll just wind it up. I want to show you, but my car is not fully dried yet, and I just don't want to bore you guys with that. But 
I guess that'll be it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!